Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa and I am The Crafty Author. Welcome to my quilting room. So today we are going to be talking about different cutting machines. However, <clears throat> we are going to discuss one in particular today. Um, there are several different uh, cutting machines that are out on the market. So uh, a couple of them that come to mind for me is the Brother Scan and Cut, uh, the AccuQuilt systems, which you have seen featured on this channel many times, and also the Cricut Maker. So the Cricut Maker is a machine that can cut multiple materials, but it can also cut fabric. And I don't know if you are aware of that. So I have a Cricut Maker that I'm going to be doing an, um, an unboxing on. Um, and the reason that I have another Cricut Maker is because um, I make a lot of shirts and t-shirts and things. Um, and I still have my old Cricut Maker, which I'm sure you have seen before. So, um, but this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unbox this. I'm going to show you some of the additional accessories that I've purchased. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up the box here. And I am going to use my little Exacto knife here. This is also a Cricut product, a little Cricut blade. Comes with the refills too. I tell you, I use this little thing more than I care to admit. <laughs> it was actually a good purchase. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this one up. Try and pull this out of the box. Actually, and then just there we go. Got it. All right. So, what comes included in the box with the maker? So, you get the premium fine point blade. You get a rotary blade and you get a fine point pin. These are items that you can purchase for your Cricut Maker. This is a little holder that you can purchase for your blades. And um, as you can see, I, I have this and I have quite a few blades actually. Um, what I do wanna tell you though, is that if you have Let me open it up here. See if I can actually do this correctly. If you have this housing, which actually comes with your Cricut Maker, then you can actually pop these off and you can just buy the tips for that. So you don't have to buy a whole new gear for it. That's a tip that's important because as you can see, I myself was purchasing the extra gears when I didn't really need to. This is the knife blade, you can see. Now this will cut through wood. Um, and then this little guy, I have to remember how to get this off. Does it twist? Yeah, I think it does. I'm kind of all over here with this. But this also has a spot down below where you can put your little, your tips until you're ready to use them. So that's what I'm doing here. I purchased an engraving tip and I also purchased a fine debossing tip. Now these are all things that the Cricut Maker can do. So that's why I have so many. 
like I said, this one cuts balsa wood. Um, you can do engraving. You can cut paper and make cards. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can cut fabric. You can make quilts. Sky's the limit. This machine does everything. Now, you can cut fabric on a Cricut Explore Air 2, but you need to back it with a heat and bond before you cut. With the Cricut Maker, you don't need to do that. So, here is the moment of truth. There we go. Okay. I always love this part. It's so much fun. Ta-da! So here is what we have in this box. So we have the box of goodies. It tells us, let's get started. I don't want to rip it open like I'm going to. Because I rip everything open. Okay. So Cricut packages their items beautifully. And so it says materials for your first project comes in this beautiful envelope. It comes with some cardstock so that you can make your first project. Okay. We'll just pull it out now so that we can do that. So it's a smaller piece and a larger piece. So I'll just set that over there for right now. And then it says, open me first. So it's going to walk you through how to do all of these things. Okay. So it'll tell you how to plug it in, your power. You're going to want to get connected. And it just tells you all this stuff. Now, since I already have a Cricut, I already have an account, an access account. So my setup will be a little bit different. welcome it's got uh, the welcome book it tells you everything that you need to know about your Cricut machine here is your fabric cutting wheel right here that comes in your your box you'll want to pull that out and let's make sure oh, and here's more stuff so here's the cord your pen and this is a cover for your wheel or for your blade whichever and information about your warranty is in there so I'm just gonna put these all back in the shipping box for right now because I don't really need them at this moment now we're gonna pull out the maker This, oh, I'm so excited about this one. <gasps> She's so beautiful. All right. I'm gonna pull out the power cord while I have it up here. And your Cricut Maker, I just wanna make sure there's nothing else in this box. You know that that's well your Cricut Maker also comes with two mats, a blue mat and a pink mat, so that you can start your first project. A blue mat is typically used for like paper, cardstock, and that sort of thing. The pink mat is always used for fabric. 
So you have your fabric mat already along with your fabric rotary cutting blade. And here she is without further ado. Ta-da! Beautiful, beautiful. I got it in the pink this time. My other one is gold. So I will flip the camera around and show you my other one. This is my other Cricut Maker. This one is gold. This is the original Cricut Maker that I purchased when it first came out. Um, I love this machine. So as you can see, I have decorated this one in all Hello Kitty. And it says live, love, and craft. So this is, this is the one I always go to. I did a Mickey Mouse hand just trying to mess around. Actually, this one is iron on. So I actually ironed that on to, to that piece. And uh, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. So as you can see, you can get real creative with these and you can decorate them as the way you want. And um, this one will also be decorated, I promise you that. I'm gonna take this plastic off so you can see it. They have it wrapped up pretty well. So you can see how it comes. All right, so some things that I wanna show you about the Cricut Maker. So over here, you can put your tools, like your weeding tools, scissors, that sort of thing, they can go in here. This, I'm gonna take these off. This is just a protection. This clamp here, clamp A is where you would put a pin and clamp B is your, your cutting blade. Okay, so anytime that you're gonna change blades, you're gonna do it in here, in clamp B. The machine will tell you what you need to do, so you'll not ever be at a loss there. This is for extra storage for more of your tools. So like you can store your scrapers and uh, that sort of thing. You've got a lot of room in there for that. This here is set up for your tablet or your phone. So you can sit your phone or your tablet up here. What's really nice about the Cricut Maker also is that I'm trying to get the right angle here. On the side here, you'll see right there is a USB port. So you can actually charge your phone or your tablet while you're working on your Cricut. All right, so we've unboxed the Cricut Maker and I will do a demonstration at the end of this video with how it works. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you're super excited to see how that works, go ahead and give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Here is some other cool stuff that I got. Uh, this is just an order that I placed with Cricut, but I like to show these things because I know that everybody gets interested in this. So these are some cards and inserts that Cricut sells. This is a holographic one. Um, and this one is called Princess Sampler. This works really well with the Cricut Joy. So the Cricut Joy is the newest uh, Cricut machine that makes projects on a smaller scale. Um, but as you can see, I mean, I like to make cards with that machine, so that's how I do it. I'm not a big card maker, and so it saves me a lot of time by having that little machine. So I just picked up some of these cards. Now these cards can be used with your Cricut Maker as well. So if you found something that you wanted to make, you can make a card with that. You can write on it with the pen. You can do however you want. This right here is heat resistance tape. I use this tape for um, my heat transfer vinyl projects. So when I'm making a t-shirt, I will pop some of this tape onto my um, carrier sheet and hold it down so that it doesn't move so that the design stays nice and even. 
This is some infusible ink. I have videos on infusible ink. I can certainly link to that down below in the description box in case you're interested. I just love showing what I what I have, what's come in the mail. This is a transfer tape. So if you wanted to do a saying on your wall or I don't know. I did it in my bathroom. I did bubbles and then I did a saying on my wall and I cut it out with premium vinyl with my Cricut Maker and then I used the transfer tape to put it onto my wall, which it turned out really cute. I will link a picture right here so you can see it. These are deluxe paper adhesive backed. So you can put these in the card. I know it says for Cricut Joy, but you can also use it with a Cricut Maker. So everything that I'm showing you can be made with a Cricut Maker as well. Again, some more of that paper. This one is a little bit different. The same with these. This one is Bright Bows Sampler. So this is just your bright uh, primary colors with the adhesive. So if you wanted to stick that in a card, you could cut out a design, whatever. This is this is what I love right here. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but I love these. So this is some Hello Kitty paper because I love Hello Kitty. So I made sure I purchased Hello Kitty. They had a sale on the paper, so that's why I picked it up. I was like, ooh, must have. And then they have the Winnie the Pooh. Isn't that so stinking cute? Oh, so adorable. It shows you all the designs on the back. Same with the, the little Hello Kitty papers. So cute. Super cute. And then for my grandsons, I got, of course, Buzz and Woody. <laughs> They're going to love making projects out of this. And by making projects out of that, I mean they color on them, they cut them up, and they glue them down. <laughs> there's no there's no rhyme or reason to that. So I buy this paper so that they can play. And they love it. So that is what was in the box that was over here. So now we're done with that. So we are ready to move on and take a look and set up our first project with our Cricut Maker. And real quick for those of you who have a question about the Cricut Joy. This is the Cricut Joy. It is much smaller than the Maker as you can see. I've already done my signature design on top. <laughs> I still need to finish decorating her. But this is what the Cricut Joy looks like. So you can actually use a pen right here in addition to the little cutting blade there. But this one does not require a mat. So you can actually use the smart materials that Cricut has and it will go in and out and then it'll cut and then you're good to go that way. So this is what the Cricut Joy looks like. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on. And make sure that that's not, I think that belongs there. Okay, now I'm gonna go into design space. All right, so when you get a Cricut machine, you're gonna need to download the app. So you're gonna to wanna to download the Cricut Design Space app. And this is the app that you'll look for. I um, am working off of an iPad, so you'll want to do whichever one is right for you. As you can see, I already have the app installed. So I'm gonna click that, and then it's gonna bring me to my Design Space account. So, I'm kind of new at this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I think uh, we're going to do a machine setup. And as you can see, now it's 
uh, the opposite direction, but that's okay. We're still going to go that way. And it is, it's on. Now we're going to connect it. And you can see there, it's telling me it's finding my maker 5A09. So we're going to click on that. All right, so I have accepted the terms of service and I'm going to click activate. And now it's going to update my maker. Okay, so everything looks good. Looks like it's connected. Um, now we're going to choose a design to make. And I think we're going to go ahead and cut this flower out. So I'm going to get that ready. And um, the way that we do this is we grab our mat. I'm going to choose the sunflower. We're going to grab our blue mat right here. You'll pull the sticky sheet off the top. You want to keep that because you'll put it over your mat every time you're, you're not using it. I'm going to put my piece of white cardstock down. As you can see, it's going to stick on there pretty well. I'm just going to give it a good, a good rub here. Now, you'll want to do this on a flat surface. It'll make it much easier, trust me. And then I'm just going to slide that right there in these little grooves here. And I'm going to hit next on my screen. Oh, you can see my paper's coming up. I'll push that down with my fingernails. All right, and then I'm going to press the blinking light. And it's telling me that it's good to go, so we're going to start the cut. You always want to do the test cut for your machine when you get it. As you can see, it shows you the cutting progress on your screen as you go. So I'm going to show you how to cut fabric after we do this test cut on paper. But we have to do the test cut on paper first to make sure that the machine is going to cut properly. is done so that's how fast it cut so let's take a look this is what we have up close so once you're done you want to take this off of your mat it's kind of hard to do when you're not really using the right tools but you'll have something that looks very much like this turned out really beautiful you see how it cuts really nice intricate cuts this you would scrape off of your mat you could put it in the trash or you can try and piece it back or you can do whatever you'd like with that um but our design is now done. So now I will show you how to cut with fabric. Okay, so I get asked a lot about the Cricut machine and how it works with fabric. So I'm gonna show you a project that I started a long time ago. It's a UFO um, that I haven't finished. It is a baby quilt and I cut all of these pieces out with my Cricut machine, 
with my Cricut Maker. This is the pattern. Now I did buy this pattern off of Cricut for baby quilt. So they do have baby quilt patterns on there that you can buy for an extra charge, even if you're an access member, okay? But it cut all of this. It cut an entire baby quilt. I have sewn some of these pieces together. I, like I said, I just have to finish them. I haven't finished this quilt. Um, I have lots of this. I have it all numbered because that's what I had to do. But you can see the pile of um, quilt blocks that were cut there. This is one of the finished quilt blocks. This is another one of them. It's, it's, this quilt is so adorable. I really should finish it. Um, but, so as you can see, this was all cut out by my Cricut. All these pieces. So when I get asked, can it do that? The answer is yes, it can. And it does a really good job. Now, what it does not do, just so you know, is it will not cut multiple, multiple layers of fabric. Like, for instance, the AccuQuilt cuts multiple layers of fabric at one time. But not everybody wants an AccuQuilt. So the Cricut machine, the Cricut Maker is just, you can do so much more with it. So you can cut fabric. And if you really like to do applique, it is probably the perfect machine for you. Um, if you like to do uh, vinyl um, decoration on your wall, if you like to decorate tin cans or like the farmhouse stuff, it's perfect for that. If you like to label things, that machine will do it for you. If you want to start making t-shirts, you can get into heat transfer vinyl and do it that way. You can get into the infusible ink, which is like sublimation. Um, Cricut has that product. I will post that link down in the description box so you can see what I did with infusible ink. Um, <clears throat> what else? You can do anything. You can make stuffed animals. Um, you can cut them out. Cricut has over, I believe, 100,000 designs in design space. And you can cut and make all of those projects. They come with instructions. Um, you can also design your own. So the sky is really the limit. It just depends on what you want to do. What do you want to make and how do you want to use it? So... I'm going to show you how to cut the fabric now. Another thing that I would like to mention is that the Cricut Maker is currently on sale at $369.99, which it normally is $399.99, plus you get free shipping. Um, and so that's a really, really good price. And so, yeah. And that is as of today, which is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. So we're going to go ahead and go into design space and we're going to choose a design to cut. So I'm just going to cut like a simple applique. And so I'm going to go into image. Now I am in Cricut design space here and I am going to look for a duck. And these ducks look really cute to me. Um, I want this to cut out as one piece though. So like this one right here. So we'll just grab this one and I will go ahead and I'll insert that. And then I'm going to bring it up top and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. About that size. Now I'm going to grab a scrap piece of fabric and we're going to put it on the mat and we're going to stitch this out or cut this out. Okay, I have a piece of fabric. I have my brayer. You might want to get one of these. These are really cool um, and they work really well on paper and fabric. I highly recommend it. So your mat is going to be sticky. Your pink mat. 
The pink mat is only used for fabric. Once you lay your fabric down, you're going to want to put the brayer down and you want to make sure you have no crinkles in it at all. So, get that on there. All right, so we are ready now to start cutting out our duck. So, I'm going to slide that in those those little uh, slots there. I'm going to click make it. And my mat size is 12 by 12, so we're good to go there. Cricut does make bigger sized mats, 12 by 24. And if you were going to cut multiple items, I would say that that would be a more appropriate mat. But for right now, we're just going to cut out this duck. We're going to click continue. And then it should pop up with what fabric we want to use. And so we're going to use a uh, cotton fabric right here. And it's telling me to load my rotary blade into clamp B. So you would pull out your rotary blade that came with your machine. And it looks like this. So I'm going to open up this clamp B and I'm going to pull out my regular blade and I'm going to put this in there. Like so. Okay, so I've done that and now I'm going to load the mat. And now it's telling me to press go because it's ready. So our cut is done. We have something that looks like this and, oh, look at there, voila. So it cut our little duck. And now if we wanted to, we could go sew it down just like that. So that is how you cut fabric with a Cricut Maker like that. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask the questions down in the comment section. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing one of these awesome Cricut Maker machines, because it's the right machine for you, then um, the link is also down below in the description box. If you purchase through that link, I will make a very small commission as I am a Cricut affiliate. So, and any and everything is always very much appreciated. Um, I use all the money to put back into my channel. And that's really it for today. So, if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like. If you'd like to share, that'd be great because sharing is caring. And don't forget to click that little bell. You get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. And we make really awesomely cool videos here. And keep on crafting. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.